Thank you for checking out this unboxing video. This is for the July Snacku box, which is always a good time. Treats from Japan. And, um, yeah. So, usually a big fan of this one. Uh, I usually try and get to it as fast as possible, so I apologize that I didn't get to this faster. I've actually had this for over a week, maybe even close to two weeks. It's just I've been kind of busy. Uh, the other thing is if I start to look like I'm getting a little um, glistening, it's because it's a little warm at the moment because I always have to turn the air conditioning off when I do these videos because there's our AC area right there. Otherwise, it'd be too much noise. Too much noise in the video, and I don't want to screw up the audio quality for you guys. Sorry. Um, so, yeah. So, let's uh, let's get in this July one, and the, the theme is Kumamoto, which has a cool little cute panda. And uh, duh, 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 duh. Mm, let me see. I'm not going to read all the little like text in the beginning. So if you want to pause on that and read it, feel free to do so. Uh, I will do the reading of the information on the snacks. As I do the snacks, there's some good looking stuff. I'll let you know if it's part of the themed portion of the, of the box or if it's one of the popular snacks that are listed on the side here. So, And then I'll show you this afterwards. All right, let's uh, open this up. Love me some snack food. I think, was it the last box or the box before that that was like one of the best, I thought, that I've gotten? This is what it looks like in there. It's some good looking things. So let me get into it. Oh, I need to grab my water real quick. Because I definitely need to take drinks of water. I had just recorded a video prior to this, so my throat's already a little parched. Okay, here we go. Grabbing this one. Premium Sweets. This one, nothing on the back really. This would be one of the Kumamon Premium Assortment snacks. It looks like there's three different types you can have. Kumamoto Exclusive Cookies. There are three types of cookies. Sweet Cheese Butter, okay? Milk Chocolate Crunch and Pastry Puff Chocolate Sandwich. Which one is your favorite? So I think this is the Milk Chocolate Crunch. This looks like it's probably going to be more like straight up it basically looks like like chocolate and rice krispies in a bar kind of so i'm not going to try that one this one must be the cheese one yeah the the sweet cheese butter i feel like i should do this one because it's more weird slash interesting where's the other one? Oh, and then this one this one is the um Paste, uh, pastry puff chocolate sandwich, which this one looks like it's probably amazing. I had something, we had something kind of like this in a recent Snacku box, so go back and check those because it's basically like pieces of pie crust that are like uh, sugared, have like large granules of sugar on it with chocolate in the middle, and I guarantee this tastes awesome. I bet this one tastes pretty good. Don't know about this one, so we're going to go ahead and do this one because it's the most interesting, and that's what I want people to see in these videos is the stuff that's most interesting. So, yes, once again, sweet cheese butter. Let's, uh, yeah, a little, little worried to see how this one is. No, it's actually more, it's, it's not as soft. I, I figured it would be, like, kind of soft, and it's more hard. Well, if I start putting some pressure on it, it's giving. It looks like the bottom's like nicely browned there. Yeah. It smells like cheese. There's like a little bit of that funky cheese note in the nose. Yeah, you can smell the cheese. It smells like like a cheese bar cookie. It doesn't really smell all that sweet because all that cheese. It's very cakey. It's kind of like a really soft um, like butter cookie. It's very buttery, and you do have that kind of like savory cheese flavor too. And it's a little bit salty as well, which I'm down with. You know, hearing what this is, the description of it, well, the name is basically the description of it. I, I was very apprehensive, but it's pretty good. It's not super sweet. It's more of like kind of a savory cookie. I'm, I kind of like it. It's good. It's not amazing or anything. I wouldn't like go out of my way to be like, oh my god, I need more of those. But for being in this box, I'm happy it's there because it's interesting. 
and it tastes good. And if someone gave me more in the future, like in, the, in a, another snacku, I'd be like, okay, sounds good. What is this one? I think I'm gonna have to open this first to figure out what it is. Oh, I think it's one of these. Okay, I think it might. Okay, I'll show you the the packaging first. Okay, very cute packaging. Cool, cute, cool. It looks good. It's pretty. Okay, it is this. So this is one of. Okay, so there's two of these things that look kind of similar on here. So I'm gonna have to figure out which one this is. This must be, okay, this is the Shiawase Mayu. Take a look, it's, it's like purple and just like brown around the edges. It looks like it has like crispy, Rice Krispies in the purple cream there. What is this? Another award-winning snack made by Kumamoto Jin Sayan. Local purple ube potato puree is whipped together with organic chocolate and sandwiched in a delicately baked butter cookie. This is one of our all-time favorite snacks. Okay. It smells pretty sweet, actually. Doesn't smell like potato, really. It smells like sweet, buttery. There's a little bit of, like, a sweet floral note, which is interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, there are, like, um, like little Rice, rice Krispies in there because there's a bit of a crunch. Hmm. It's that cream in the middle. Like, it is nice and buttery. But I do get that potato, knowing that it's in there. It, like, makes it more, like, starchy. And a little bit of, like, a potato flavor. But there's a nice sugary sweetness to it, too. But it's not over the top. And I really like the crunch that those crispies in there are giving it because it adds nice texture. I'm a big person on texture, especially when I'm having snacks. And I really like crunchy. Um, yeah. Hmm. And there's like butter wafer cookies on the outside. Tastes exactly like that. You know, like butter wafer cookies. Now I'm trying to figure out if somebody gave this to you and didn't tell you that there's potato in it. Yeah, I don't think you'd know. Because of the level of sweetness and the butteriness coming together, it kind of masks a lot of the potato unless you know it's there and you can kind of look for it. So I like that. I, I could see... I mean, I, I can see why they say it's their favorite, but I've had many snacks from Snacku that's that are a lot better. But it is good. I'm excited for my wife to try that. She'll like that. Yeah, man. That's good. Okay, so let's jump over to another thing that looks like it's crispy-esque. All right, can I move some? Oh, there's the extra on that one. Okay, so this is from the popular snacks. Uh, the other two were from the actual, like, featured theme ones. So this is black puffed rice. Yep, looks like chocolate puffed rice. Baked organic Japanese rice puffs glazed with dark soy sauce and black sesame paste. Isn't that crazy? It looks like chocolate. It looks like it would be chocolate, but it's not. Sorry if it's very noisy. I just don't want to be getting stuff all over the floor. Because I'm just doing it in my basement. Yeah, look at that. Oh, you can smell the soy. It's like that immediate tang, a little bit sweet, real tangy, slightly salty. Hmm. That's good. It's not crazy on the soy though. So if you're not like big with soy sauce flavors, like there's, it's there, but it's not like super tangy or in your face. Which I assume part of that's because of the sesame, kind of like downplaying that tanginess. Yeah, this is good for for a, a savory snack. And there's a little bit of a saltiness. It kind of like grows as you continue eating it, which I like. I like an, a nice salty quality with my savory snacks. I like that. That's good. Mm, okay. Next... Let's go with another one that is off the popular snacks portion. This is Heavy Star Ramen. Is it an actual ramen? Let's find out. Look at this. You see that? The boom. What is it? Dried ramen noodle crisps flavored with Japanese miso. Okay. Pretty concise to the point. 
I'm always I always worry when I'm opening bags like this from the top because I mean obviously that's a preferable way preferable way to open them but sometimes they're like really tough to get and then when you're really going at it you can just like rip it because it reaches that breaking point and then you're still exerting too much force and it's just like so I always worry about that anyway actually am I able to show you inside there kind of without dumping them everywhere there you go there you go you can see it look at them all in there they look overexposed because of the lighting so sorry but look basically yeah it's just like ramen noodles oh you can smell the miso but it's interesting because it it almost smells like beer it totally <laughs> kind of smells like beer it's really weird obviously it's crunchy you definitely taste the miso. It's very miso driven. This is a fun snack, to be honest. I mean, it's mainly just like a like a like a miso flavor with like a starchy noodle flavor coming in after the miso, and it's crunchy. Like there's not a ton of flavor to it. It's just like miso, starchy noodle, crunchy. So it's kind of more of like a munch on this, maybe after you've had some beers, to be honest, um, and just enjoy like the texture of it. I can see like you'd eat them kind of fast, to be honest, just because they, they go down kind of quick. They're not like super flavorful. Those are okay. Not my favorite. They're all right. I don't think I need them in the future. You know, and what is this? Ooh, that I'm going to, I'm going to save that for last because that, let me get this. I don't like to calm down a little bit. What the hell's going on? Okay, so that one thing, I'm very interested in that. It's, it's very interesting. So we'll save that for last. What is this? This would be... I don't know. I'm going to have to open it. I think it's Xion. Well, let me find out. And if it is the Xion, then it is part of the theme for this. Let me... Come on now. Soften up. I don't know. That's the problem with using just like a camera on your laptop I'm not high class here I'm not spending a lot of money on this because I don't make money on it it's just a hobby anyway oh yeah okay so I've had something kind of like this before it's kind of like a little bit like a like a cake bar and the last time I had this was like a brownie with dehydrated um, strawberries in it and it was amazing so this one oh, I should read well, let me show you it first there's some purple in there this looks like cake with like a purple filling but it's got that purple potato an exclusive snack from kumamoto jinsyon which has been making delicious award-winning snacks for 10 years the light deliciously baked bite-sized cheesecake oh okay uh is made with local kumamoto kumamo to kumamo to oh kumamoto they cut the word up weird in their formatting Made with local Kumamoto rice and purple ube potato picked by local co-op farmers in the region. A perfect snack to go with a cup of tea or coffee. Ooh, it smells cheesy. Just like the um, that sweet cheese butter bar. It smells cheesy. It's weird. Yeah. I can smell actually a little bit of the potato, which is weird. It doesn't smell sweet at all. It tastes a lot of potato, to be honest. There's a little bit of a sweetness in there, and it does taste kind of cheesy, but it's very much potato-oriented. It's very soft. My teeth cut right through it, no effort whatsoever. It's very, very soft. I really like that. And one of the big reasons for that, like, we don't do this in the United States, and I, I don't know if it's because people are just, like, think people are too dumb and they just eat it but they have like these little like silica gel silica packets in there to absorb absorb moisture so to keep it from getting like too moist in there um so you can keep these things actually naturally moist so well you know it, it works obviously because that's very moist plus i said it's been sitting for a little bit but um that's not very sweet. It's not very snack-like, in my opinion. Like, the, the cheese portion with the potato is a little bit not what my palate wants, but it's not bad either. So, 
you know, I like how soft it is. Like, the softness of it is pretty impressive. Okay, moving on. Um, okay, let's go to one of the popular snacks on the sidebar. Uh, this is Genji Pie. Delicately baked folded pastry puff snack topped with granulated sugar. Looks like, like, elephant ears. Is that what people call them in the United States? Like, that type of, like, texturing and pastry. It's like an elephant ear. Am I right about that? Put a comment down there. Let me know. Am I right? Okay, so there's... It's kind of broken. That's fine. I'll just show you a piece of it up close. There you go. See? Nicely browned. It smells very sweet. Buttery. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I like the texture on this. Oh, it's really buttery. There's like a nice sweetness, but that gives way to the butteriness then. And it's a tad bit salty, which I do like in this in this flavor profile. But like these like layers are very like nice flaky pastry. I love that type of um, texture. I love this type of flavor. It's like a nice buttery pastry. I'm really nice. So it's a bit crunchy, but it's also very soft and easy to chew. I love it. That's really good. That's a really nice pastry. And it's not super sweet either. It's just like a little bit of a sweet sugar coating on the outside, but it's mainly like focused on the buttery pastry flavor. And that's nice. That is very nice. I like that. Uh, gonna say, yep, it's my favorite in this box thus far. Mm, I like that. I love it. Okay, next. Let's go with another. Oh, I don't think I'm going to like this. Well, we'll see. These look interesting. Uh, Bourbon Pucci Ebi. Pucci Ebi? Whatever. Bourbon? I don't know. I don't think it's actual bourbon. See the prawn on there? Shrimp prawn. I don't know. Shrimp things. Yeah. Okay, let me. Come on. There we go. Softer light. Thank you. Send by rice cracker made with grilled baby shrimp caught off the sea of Japan. The packaging is weird because it's kind of like this sleeve. I'm not going to be able to get this open. I don't even know. Ugh, my hand's a little... There we go. Help with my teeth. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to open this all the way, but oh my gosh, there's a lot in here. So if you see how it's kind of stacked in here and the length of it, there's a lot of these in there. But they're like small. They're like real small little crisp discs. There. You can kind of see what the... You know. Show you the other side. See? Well, it smells like shrimp. And salty. It's like salty shrimp. Very nice crunch. The crunch is great. So the, the shrimp flavor is actually not as fishy as it usually is in these types of things. It's, it's more dialed back and has a really nice saltiness to it. I'm actually good with these. I kind of like it. This is another thing that I think would be good after beer. <laughs> Which I think I'm going to have a beer or two tonight. So I'm going to keep these available to munch on. Probably mainly after the beer. Okay. Hmm. That's actually pretty good. I kind of like that. I'm very, very iffy with um, the shrimp flavoring, but with this one, you did a good job because it's not too over the top. Like I said, not too fishy. I got to really try to get that flavor out of my mouth for the next thing. All right, moving on. Where are we going here? What we got? What is this one? Heavy, or no, we did the, this must be, oh, the Gekka no Kumamoto Ju. Sorry. <laughs> I probably just slaughtered that. Did a terrible job with it. It's like one of these little, like, cakes filled with stuff. These snacks are only available at the Kumamoto Castle. Only have a castle. I didn't know about that. Come on. Um, they are made, they are made to symbolize the full moon that rises and casts a soft yellow hue 
over the castle. These baked manju are filled with a sweet chestnut bean paste and baked in a low heat clay oven. Ah. Come on, man. What is wrong? Keep it soft. Anyway, sorry. So, I don't think I'm really going to like this, most likely. I've had... Oh, Jesus. I'm going to be able to even get it open. Teeth again. Oh, there we go. Got, got it at the right angle. Uh, so, I don't think... I say I don't think I'm really going to like it because I've had the chestnut paste and stuff before. And I don't... I don't like it. I'm more of a red bean paste kind of guy with things like this. So, yeah, it looks like kind of like one of their little pancake things. I mean, it's soft on the outside. And it just smells sweet and, like, bready. It's just a really grainy, mealy texture to it that I'm not digging so much. You can see a chestnut paste there. Yeah, so the texture is weird because it's like very bean-like. You know, it's like grainy, beany texture. I mean, you get a lot of beans in your mouth. And I just don't like that texture. It's sweet. It tastes a tad bit vanilla-y. I get the chestnut flavor. It's actually okay for as far as like how I feel about these chestnut paste flavors. Um, it's on the better side of, of what I've experienced. So it's decent. It's not for me, though. I'm not, like, huge on it, so. Yep. Pretty sweet, though. As you continue to eat, it just kind of becomes, like, more and more sweet. Okay, second to last item. This is gigantic. What the hell? Taco Octopus Senbai. Look at this. Mm, octopus there. Yeah, octopus is a thing. At some point, I'd love to be able to try some takoyaki, which, if people don't know what that is, it's basically, like, a... Like a pancake, pancake batter that has octopus in it that is then um, like done in these little in these little like uh, cups so that they make them into balls and then they put some sort of like sauce on top. Okay, well these are individually wrapped within, so that makes it easier. So I have to go. These smell fishy. I mean, it's from the ocean, so you know <laughs> it's gonna happen, right? So octopus. I guarantee when I show these to my wife, she's going to be like, no thanks. I'm still going to make her try it. At least like one bite. That's kind of the rule. It's like, you have to at least try it. Make sure you don't like it. Ooh, it smells pretty fishy though. Check that out. It's pretty thin. It smells fishy, a little bit salty. That's about it. It's harder I thought it would be. Hmm. So it's it is fishy and more fishy than I typically like. But the flavor is also kind of like a soft seafood. At the same time. Kind of weird. There's a slight sweetness on it with a decent amount of saltiness. It's okay. I mean, I'm not... I'm not wild about it, but I don't dislike it either. So that's a plus. I don't know. My wife's not going to like it. She'll be like, ugh, too fishy. I mean, she'll smell it immediately and just be like, ooh. And I believe we're going to the, come on, going to the last thing. Yeah. This is going to be interesting. This is the final thing. And this is not from the, those last two were from, like the theme, these are not. These are black sesame caramel. Interesting. Black sesame caramel. Very interested. There we go. Uh, a super unique caramel made with black charcoal and black sesame. Don't be alarmed if your mouth turns black. It's completely normal and safe. <laughs> Do it. Is it natural if I feel less comfortable after reading that? Like, when you give a warning like that, it's kind of, like, making me suspicious. Oh, man, this might be, like, really hard on my teeth. I don't know. As you get older, people, you got to be more careful with your teeth. I'm just saying. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it looks like just a black caramel. It smells sweet. Kind of, like, milk, milky. 
and sweet is what it smells like. Very chewy. It's black. Like there's nothing else on the inside. Huh? It kind of tastes like peanut butter. It's like caramel and peanut butter is what it tastes like to me. Okay. Hmm. That's weird. I would not expect it to be like that. Okay. There we go. On my second bite, it's starting to taste. What I was thinking is tasting like peanut butter. It's starting to taste more like sesame. Yeah, so a few bites, or maybe like a whole, eat a whole one of those at one time, and you're going to taste more sesame than peanut butter. But it still has this kind of like weird peanut butter note. And when I say weird, it's not that I dislike it. I love peanut butter, so I like it. I think that tastes very good. I really like that. And it looks cool. It's like a fun thing. Mm. But like caramels, very chewy, very sticky. Let's see if my mouth is black at all. Uh-huh. Black tongue. That's fun. Okay, cool. Uh, so overall with this box, um, yeah, once again, at the least with this box, it's always fun. It's always interesting if you like trying new things. So let me go ahead and give you the rundown real quick. These are all the ones that were the themed items. Go ahead and pause and read those if you want. And then on this side are the ones from the popular portion that are not part of the theme. Same thing, pause when you want to read those things. Okay, so what were my favorites? Hmm, the black sesame caramel, definitely one of my favorites. The gingy pie, definitely one of my favorites. Those are my top two for sure. Um, the Kum uh, Kumamon premium assortment here. I have a feeling that the this one right here, the like puff pastry, like the pie crust with the chocolate in between, that that's going to be amazing. And the Shiwase Mayu, the this purple one, that was quite good. But my favorite, 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 I'd say my number one, the Genji Pie, and then that black sesame caramel. But pretty close between those two. But anyway, another successful uh, Snacku. Thank you so much for checking this video out. Um... Check out Snacku if you want to. Uh, they don't, you know, I don't get their stuff for free. They're not sponsoring this like nothing. I'm just doing this for fun and doing it because I like it. So just know that. So go ahead and sign up for it if you like what you see. Uh, but let's put some comments down there. What do you think about this box? Are you getting this box? What did you like if that's the case? I would definitely be interested to see what people are into. Um, but please subscribe if you like any of the videos I do. Um, give me a thumbs up if you're so inclined. But thanks for checking it out. And until next time, keep it brutal.